The Content View menu can take control what comes up in the content area of the screen. The Nav View menu controls what comes up in the navigation area of the screen. What comes up by default is a class schedule. And so you can see here a schedule that um, uh, has all the units and modules of the course in order of presentation in the course. And that's what most people find most useful usually to navigate through the course book. Um, but there's an another view of the course material that um, uh, may be very useful to you at times. And that's a, uh, that's a more standard table of contents for all the materials in the course, where we have um, topics and exercises and projects uh, all laid out by category. So the topics, for example, are laid out by about the course book, about the course, about markup, XML, HTML, information structure, information types, etc. Exercises are listed. All the exercises in your in your course book are listed by their order of occurrence in the course. And similarly, all the projects um, in the course book are listed in order of occurrence. So this is another way of looking at the information that may be useful to you at some point. Um, I'll also point you to the bibliography, which is um, the, big, the bibliography actually lives as well inside. Sorry, I moved the window out of the recording area. Let me just put it back where it goes there. Um, the bibliography is here in the um, in the table content view, but it's also in the um, at the end of the schedule view, and it gives you all of the bibliographic resources of the course, and then uh, where there are some some links to the actual readings that are in that um, in that source. So that's the um, that's the table of contents view, full course table of contents, course overview and requirements. Takes you to a listing of all the logistics of the course. You can you should go there at least once to check out kind of the background information about the course, or if you have any questions about specific logistical things like you know how are grade calculated, all that kind of stuff. Okay, um, the other thing to talk about in the nav view menu is the indexes. Uh, first one is a keyword index. What I did to create this keyword index is somewhat different than what you'll do as an exercise in this course about keywords. Uh, rather than flag specific words as keywords, I took a shortcut to a lot less um, uh, that had a lot less manual labor involved in it. Someday maybe I'll actually go and flag a bunch of words as keywords, but um, until I have the, the time to do that, what I did instead was take all of the different um, all the different titles for all of the items in the course book strip out any words that aren't um, critical to the meaning of the titles and then alphabetize them and put them in this keyword index. So you can see here the keyword index goes A to Z and um, any topic that is or any word that falls under a certain letter like for example later on the course you're trying to get back to that thing about geeks you see here geekdom and then notice that um, you can click on this item and it'll take you to the topic that has that word in it. So it's a lot like an index. In fact, it is an index. It's a keyword index and it uses all the titles of all the items as the, um, the thing that is indexed. Okay, next index we can look at is um, an images index. The images index uh, changes what's in both the navigation area and the content area. In the navigation area comes up uh, an alphabetical list of of um, items, excuse me, alphabetical list of images uh, indexed by the title of the item they're in. So you can see here, for example, a number of ones with the same title. That means that um, there are images that all have that are all from the same item. So if I do a review of advanced systems, we'll scroll here in a second to review of advanced systems. So it downloads. Sometimes it has a problem downloading, and I've given the recorder priority. Uh, so, come on. Hmm. Well, I think that something's going wrong with that. It's still not finished downloading, and I've given the, the recorder priority, so it may just not be working under these circumstances. At any rate, I can, um, uh, in the left-hand nav side here, I see an alphabetical list of images by where they came up, where uh, by the the name of the topic in which they live and on the right side here in the content area I see a listing of all the images in the order they appear inside of the course book so if you know about where something appears in the course book beginning middle and then you can scroll to find it in here or you could just scroll until you find the image that um, that you remembered seeing like maybe it's this Drost image and you scroll through here you see that image catches your eye and you say oh yeah that's the one I want 
you can click on it and it will enlarge it will any, anywhere else in the course book and that's how the image index works there's also um, a video index that works exactly the same way I won't start the video index because it depends on downloading um, uh, it depends on downloading the entire uh, the entire set of videos from YouTube so that takes too long the final one I'll show you is the files index the files, the, there are lots of files in this file that you upload in this case this user has only uploaded one but um, the user can get back to the file that, that he's uploaded by clicking on this there's lots of files on the site as you go through the course book that you download to as samples mostly um, and as examples of certain things and here they all are in alphabetical order so that you can um, you can find and get to those when you need them and then finally system files which are files that the application uses to um, combine with your files transforms and and, um, and schemas that are combined with your files and I know you don't quite understand that terminology yet but as you go through the course you remember that if you need to get back to some of those kinds of system files that you can get back to them through this index all right, so that's the nav view menu. Default is the course schedule. Um, it has a set of indexes that you can use to get to course material, a full course table of contents, which is a different cut on all the materials than the schedule, and the course overview and requirements, which is the logistical information behind the course.